couple of them do go to Canada and it's all grand. And we welcome you all here on the auspicious occasion of ongoing Hindu Heritage Month celebrations. We had a wonderful opening ceremony of our Heritage Month celebrations in Devi Mandar Pickering last Sunday, which was inaugurated by the Consul General of India, Shri Apurva Srivastava, and Ontario's Finance Minister, Honorable Peter Bethlehem Hall. Today we are honored to have with us Mayor Brampton, Mr. Patrick Brown. Thank you, sir. And the uh, team master, uh, Ms. Shami uh, Williams, as well as the uh, MPP, MPP, Ms. Sarah Singh. She's also the leader of the MPP. Uh, the 26th of 2016 is an act to proclaim the month of November as Hindu Heritage Month. According to Ontario Legislative Assembly website pages, Ontario is the home to a large and wide Hindu community. Since the first Hindu immigrants arrived in Canada at the beginning of the 20th century, we the Hindu Canadians from across Ontario have made significant contributions across all fields, science, education, medicine, law, politics, business, culture, and sports. Diwali is one of the biggest of all celebrity uh, festivals that we do separately. It falls in either longer or October each year. Diwali commemorates the victory of good over evil. In addition, uh, this time of the year, we Hindus also celebrate other significant festivals such as Navratri and Durga Puja. Diwali is a festival of joy and prosperity and a celebration of the victory of good over evil. Lord Ram's victory over them. Ravan is the basis of Diwali, lights of joy. So the Canadian Hindu diaspora is facing rising Hindu phobia in Canada. As a society, we have to fight together against this cancer of Hindu phobia. I would like to introduce my other uh, directors, our president, Mr. Rao Nidamuniji. Thank you very much, Raoji, as well as uh, um, Manish Sharma ji, Dr. Raj Jampal ji, uh, Vishal Saini ji, and uh, we really appreciate uh, uh, Sumit Saini ji as well as Ashish ji. Very much. Very well done, Mr. So, this is so nice. You know, uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. It is uh, great to be here uh, with my colleagues in public service, uh, Councillor Williams and MPP uh, Sarah Singh. Uh, we wanted to be here today to join you in the celebrations for Hindu Heritage Month in the city of Brampton and in the province of Ontario. Hindu Heritage Month is part of our official uh, calendar. I actually remember being in the legislature provincially where I was before I was mayor, and there was an MPP by the name of Joe Dixon, no longer there, but he put forward a bill to recognize November as Hindu Heritage Month, and I came into the legislature to speak on behalf of that uh, proposal. I think it's beautiful to uh, celebrate part of our mosaic, and, and that's, that's Canada. The beauty of Canada is that we're many different faiths, and we all come together in harmony. And there is no contradiction in being fiercely proud to be Canadian and being proud of your ancestry and your heritage and to have celebrations like we are right now throughout the city of Brampton for Diwali is, is a beautiful thing. And uh, I know it's been a busy month. We started off with lots of garbage for Navratri and now we've moved into the Diwali season. I think I only had about 15 Diwali parties to go to the last few days. I think the more you learn about the Hindu faith, the more you realize it's a, a faith of, of love, of empathy, of generosity. And that's a beautiful thing to have uh, in a community. I've got a dear friend, um, Laj Prashir, who goes to the Vishnu Mandir in Richmond Hill. And a few years ago, he said, do you want to have good blessings? He says, I want you to come with me to Varanasi. So I went to Varanasi in 2018, and I got my Hindu blessings in Varanasi on the Ganges, and since then, I got elected mayor and had two kids. <laughs> so, so, so it shows you, uh, Councillor Williams and, and MPP Singh, you get your Hindu blessings, you uh, you got uh, a light uh, uh, looking after you, and so I just wanted to come today and just say how fortunate I feel we are in the city of Brampton to have this dynamic 
Hindu community um, that makes our mosaic even richer. Um, and I just want to say on behalf of the city of Brampton, a very happy Hindu heritage month. Thank you. Um, it's an honor to be here with you today um, and bring greetings on behalf of the Ontario NDP. Uh, my name is Sarah Singh and I am the Member of Provincial Parliament in Brampton Centre um, and you also serve as a uh, Deputy Leader of Ontario's Indian Democratic Party and our official opposition here in Ontario. Um, it's an honor to be here with you for a variety of different reasons. I know we just celebrated Diwali, uh, what a wonderful time that was and I want to you know, thank you all for doing your part and celebrating safely. Um, you know, I think it's really important that uh, we continue to follow public health guidelines and uh, do your part to get vaccinated as well so that we can continue to gather in spaces like this and connect with our community. Uh, but also as a uh, proud Hindu uh, as well, um, you know, this month we are celebrating Hindu Heritage Month and it's an honor to be here with you all um, to celebrate our religion, um, our culture and the history um, of our community. Um, as Mayor Brown said, um, you know, Hindu community contributes so much here in Brampton but across Canada. And this month is an opportunity for us to recognize and celebrate those contributions but also encourage the next generation to ensure that they continue to learn and celebrate and be proud of who they are and where they're from. So I want to thank the Sunday School um, for sharing your talents with us today. Give them a round of applause. And uh, you know, as young people and young leaders in our community, I want to thank you for carrying on the traditions, learning about them, and teaching them to others as well. It's a very, very important thing. Um, so thank you so much for doing that. Um, and as always, if I can be of any service to anyone in the community, don't hesitate to reach out. My office is always happy to help um, in any way that we can. And I want to thank you all again for just being here. I know it's so lovely. As Amundi was saying, you know, it's been a tough year and a half for all of us. A lot of darkness in our lives. Um, but our communities have really shown us that when we each share our light with the community, we can get through this darkness together and uh, make some brighter days uh, ahead. So thank you all for doing your part. Uh, happy Hidden Heritage Month, as well as a belated Happy Diwali to everyone. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Charmaine Williams. And it's just an honor and privilege to be here with you all. This is brand new and wonderful city. Yeah. as a city councillor because being in a space where we make decisions that impact so many of our lives, inclusion and acceptance and kindness is at the root. And that's why I, pre I appreciate I'm here with brothers and sisters because it's what we follow. It's following kindness, love, and peace. And that's what we are have to strive for in the city of Brampton every day of our lives. We have many different people from many different cultures, faiths, and backgrounds. 234, we speak over 117 different languages a week. That's a lot of people coming together. And sometimes we don't always agree, but when we have faith and peace at the center, we can always overcome. So thank you so much for your teachings. Thank you so much for sharing your teachings with all of us and encouraging that peace and following the light. We had a wonderful Diwali celebration, and, and like Mayor Brown said, Brandon had the most fireworks. <laughs> so thank you again for having me here. It's always an honor and a privilege to be in front of you, and if there's anything you need, the city of Brandon, City Hall is your home, and you help make it, so you help you own it. So reach out to us anytime they ask you. Thank you. I'm Richie 
um, as I know I'm a new face to everybody, I'm the MP for Mississauga Streetsville, and I'm so happy to be here. Um, you know, I just I want to also let you know I'm a resident of Brampton, so to be able to celebrate this with you here in the city where I live is really special. Howdy, boys. So again, thank you so much for having me here today. I want to start off by saying Happy Hindu Heritage Month to everyone here. I'm honored to celebrate Hindu Heritage Month with all of you. It's always great to see members of the community coming together and just watching you celebrate this. I can see the joy that you all have. I think this is very beautiful and just it's opening my eyes, if you know what I mean, to your um, community and what matters to you and that's really special. Hindu Canadians have made tremendous contributions to our province and country, and these contributions cannot go unnoticed. I've worked with so many of you as well in all the different experiences I've had prior to politics, and I can attest to this. I know many of you have just celebrated Diwali a few days ago, but I hope you continue celebrating because you have the rest of the month to do so to celebrate your culture and heritage. It's also important to teach Canadians and the next generation about the various cultures, religions, and heritages within Canada. Therefore, celebrating Hindu Heritage Month is important in order for us all to be well informed and open with all Canadians. And what we all celebrate, and it's very special to us to, to have and live in a country where we celebrate diversity. This is a tremendous um, opportunity we have just living here in this country. So I look forward to continue working with your community and thank you once again for inviting me here today. When I came to Canada New and I came to know about celebrating this heritage month, first thing crossed my mind and I said, when could we even do that? Do I need to be told I'm Hindu? Do I need to know that I'm Hindu? I live like a Hindu every day. But it's not about me. It is about sharing with others. It's about when I celebrate Islamic month, when I celebrate Sikh heritage month, or I celebrate other months, I learn about other cultures, other religions, other places. And that is why it is important. And not only for others, for our children it is important to know about our culture. So I want to thank you, your organization, for doing this incredible job and celebrating the heritage month. So round of applause for each one. So I wrote down, I just have some data which I wanted to read. And the reason I, I, I love data, by the way. And I just want, and especially for our youth and those who are new to the country in the last 50 years. In 1901, the total Indian population was 5,260. And about 50% were Hindus. So that makes it as about 2,500 Hindus. But and those Hindus, most of them were either doctors, professors, or lawyers. And soon they found, because of the dietary restriction, because of the isolation, because of not having enough support structure here, slowly they started to disappear and started to go back. By 1961, we have about, I mean, there is no exact calculation, but about 200 Hindus that we have. Most of the time, when the immigration was going up, you would think it was 2,500 in 1901, it probably would be maybe 5,000, 10,000, maybe 20,000 by 1951 or 61. No, it was actually the opposite trend. But then the trend opened up with the new immigrants coming. In 1971, we were about 10,000. By 81, we were 70,000. And the credit goes to the Hindus from Africa, Hindus from West Indies, they were coming here. By 2001, the number was about 300,000. By 2011, it became 500,000. And the estimate is, at this moment, we have between 1.1 to 1.2 million Hindus. <laughs> So what does that really mean? It means that we are the prominent part of this country. When we want our Canada to grow, when we want our children to grow, we have to make sure, we have to nurture and flourish our Hindu religion and the culture that we have. Now what would it take? 
I always love one word, and I was actually asked when they were asking the question, which one word is the biggest word in the world ever? And people usually would think it is money. No, the word was respect. You know, most people can earn the money, but what is difficult to earn or to give is respect. And that is what religion teaches us, to respect everyone. And we know and we believe that Vasudev Kutumba means one word, one family. But that word is not just a line. We have to live that word. And that word can only come through the respect. So I just want to say today, we know the value of one word, one family. We know the value of Vasudev Kutumba. But right now, in my opinion, it is just a line. Let's all work together. There are 47 Hindu mandirs here in Ontario. Let's start from home. Let's understand we all believe the value of unity. We all believe the value of working together for the prosperity of each one of us. So I look forward by the time, next time I come here and celebrate with you Hindu Heritage Month. Next year, we would have a much bigger celebration with all 47 mandirs coming together and saying Vasudev Kutumba. Devotees, devotees, HFC members, honored guests, Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. The entire month of November is celebrated as Hindu Heritage Month. And November holds a special significance for all Hindus. We already celebrated Navratri and Diwali around this time. Therefore, we feel the entire month of November have given special status as any organization or individual who identify, identifies with dharmic values and welcome this recognition. All, Hindu, all Hindus, December 2016, will be remembered forever. Bill 56 received royal assent in the Ontario Legislative Assembly. And by declaring the month of November as Hindu Heritage Month. I like this few, par this few sentences very much. This bill was first introduced in Ontario Provincial Assembly by our dear friend, Joe Dixon, MPP for Ajax Pickering, on the 27th of October, 2016. During his introduction of the bill, Mr. Dixon continued to say, Hindu Heritage Month in Ontario will recognize the important contributions Hindu Canadians have made to Ontario social, economic, economic, religious, and political cultural fabric. Mr. Dixon will forever be remembered by all Hindus and the Devry Monday for the great contribution he has made to Hindu recognition in this province. In Ontario, we draw great strength from diversity of our people. No matter what is happening in the world, in the world, we want our province to continue being a safe and welcoming place to all people of faith. Hindu immigrants began arriving in Canada at the beginning of the 20th century. And since then, our contribution to the fields of religion, science, education, medicine, law, politics, business, etc. have helped to build our province in the most diverse and greatest province to live in. Today marks the beginning of great things to come that will be celebrated between Hindu Forum Canada and other organizations and we thank them for the wonderful work that they are doing in our province. Thank you.